CBS North Carolina, breaking news. Well, we continue to follow the breaking news tonight in Raleigh, where there has been a shooting. Good evening, I'm Sharon Taswell. And I'm Sean Maroney. Thanks for joining us. Police say the shooting on Cantwell Court off Raleigh Boulevard happened just before 4 o'clock. Our Michael Highland has been on the scene since shortly after then, talking to neighbors. And Michael, what can you tell us right now? I just talked to the woman who called 911 about this, and she says she saw two men who had been shot. One of them was over here behind this apartment building. She said he was alert, though, and actually asked to use a phone to call his mother about what had happened. And the second person was over here in a car that has crashed into a fence. That's where Raleigh police have been focusing much of their attention for the last hour or so. A couple of witnesses who I talked to said they made it over there before this was all blocked off by the crime scene tape and said they saw the man who had been shot slumped over in the front seat of his car there. We don't know about any potential motive behind this or any information about any suspects in this case. This is the same apartment complex we told you about last week where there's been a curfew in effect here starting at 10 o'clock every night. That's in response to an increased crime rate in the area. Raleigh police say in about a one mile radius of here they've already had 1,500 calls for service this year. I talked to one of the women who was down there and actually saw the man in the car who had been shot earlier this afternoon. And she talked to me about some of her frustrations with that curfew. Here's what she had to say. People that have children they're trying to raise, and it's ridiculous. They have to live under these circumstances because people want to be ignorant. Raleigh police have a tent over the car where they're focusing on that uh, over there behind uh, where we're standing right now. So we're going to be out here for a while and see if we can get some better access to where this is and get some more information. Bring that to you throughout the night on WNCN.com and ahead on the news at 11. Reporting live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina. Still a very active scene. Michael, thank you. Three cars stolen. 30 cars broken into 